Hello everyone, have you ever wondered how to record your Android device just like some of those bigger YouTubers do when they record their mobile gaming videos? Well today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your Android phone using an Elgato game capture. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking I don't even hear them. They talk and they talk but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I came up. Now you don't specifically have to use an Elgato. But in this case, we're going to be using the Elgato HD60S. Another thing that you guys are going to have to pick up is a HDMI adapter for your cell phone. Now, they do make specific ones for iOS devices, but if you have an Android, you're just going to have to search on Amazon and find one similar to this. Now, if you guys don't have the Galaxy S8 Plus or newer phone, you guys are going to have to look for a different HDMI adapter for your phone because this one specifically uses USB-C, and that's a newer charging port thing that they released for these phones. It works a lot better and charges your phone a lot faster. So if you guys don't have a newer phone, you are sadly going to have to look for a different adapter with the right connector for your phone. So if you have an older phone, don't buy this adapter. Search around on Amazon for one that will work with your phone. Alright, so the one thing that makes this really hard... Harder than trying to do it with an iOS device is, with the Android devices, they have this HDCP block. Now what the HDCP block is, they don't allow you to record with your Elgato because they don't want you to record movies and TV shows and pirate stuff like that. Unfortunately, you guys are going to have to purchase this and this bypasses the HDCP block and it allows you to record your Android device with your Elgato. Now this only costs like $17 on Amazon so it is fairly cheap and it really isn't that hard to use. You just plug it in, it's just something extra that you have to plug in in order for this to work. So it really isn't that bad but you are gonna have to buy this extra in order for this to work. And like I said, I will have all the links to this stuff in the description. Now it is going to cost you around $200 if you don't have any of this stuff to be able to record your Android device with an Elgato. Now I'm assuming if you guys clicked on this video, you already have an Elgato. You may just have to pick up this stuff. So the links are in the description. Go check them out. Everything is fairly cheap. And it's really worth it if you want to get good gameplay and recordings for your YouTube videos from your phone. Alright, so we talked enough about this stuff. We have our HDMI splitter, our Elgato game capture. In this case, I have the Elgato HD60S, your cell phone. I have the Galaxy S8 Plus. Now, if you guys do have an older cell phone, you probably are using a different uh, charging port than what I use. Now in that Galaxy S8 Plus, they use the USB-C, and that's what this adapter goes into. And that works with this phone, the Galaxy S8 Plus, and some of the newer phones that they have out. So if you guys do have an older Android phone, you are going to have to search for a different adapter than this one. This one's more specific for the newer phones. Alright, so now that we're done talking about all this stuff, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. Alright, so the first step is get your computer, your laptop, your desktop, whatever you use, and then open up your program. I use the Elgato Game Capture software that it recommends using. Some people use OBS, but I just recommend using that. Alright, and once your computer and the program that you use with your Elgato is on, you're going to want to grab your HDMI splitter and the power cord, and then you're just going to want to plug it in. Plug that in there, and then plug this into the wall. And bam, second step is done. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention, you are going to need two HDMI cables. Now, it is 2018, and I'm sure you have one or two laying around your house. Now, if you do have the Elgato Game Capture, one HDMI cable does come with it. And if you don't have one, you are going to have to purchase another because you do need two. All right, so grab your HDMI adapter, your HDMI, and plug it in. Just like that. Alright, then take your Elgato and the USB that it comes with and plug it in. Alright, and then take one of your HDMI cables and plug it into the in port on your Elgato. Just like that. Alright, and then you take the other end of that HDMI cable that you just plugged into your Elgato and you plug it into the HDMI output one on your HDMI splitter and then you take your HDMI adapter which is plugged into your other HDMI cable 
and you take the other end of that and plug it into the HDMI input right next to the power port on your HDMI splitter. And then you take your adapter and just plug it into your device. Alright, so this is it all hooked up. We got the power cable hooked up to the Elgato that gave it power. And then we got the HDMI cable into the in port on the Elgato running all the way over to the HDMI output 1 port on the HDMI splitter. Alright, and then we have the HDMI adapter all hooked up and into the HDMI input slot on your splitter. And as you guys can see, my phone is being displayed right on the Elgato software. And I'll show you it side by side. And normally if you don't have the HDMI splitter and you hook it up just like you would with an iOS device, it would say HDCP and this wouldn't even pop up on the screen. So you do need to purchase this HDMI splitter. Alright, so once everything is hooked up, your program's on and it's all going good, you guys can hit that record button, you guys can do gaming videos, tutorials, whatever you want to do with that footage that you get from your phone screen. Alright, so this really wasn't that hard to hook up. It only took a couple of minutes to hook up everything and open the program. So it's really not that bad, but the Elgato is a good chunk of money. And if you don't have one already and you don't have the money, you are going to have to maybe save up. But it is worth it once you get it because it can record your Xbox, your PS4, and many other things. So definitely go check out the Elgato the HDMI splitter and the adapter for the phone there. I do have the links in the description and uh, yeah. Alright, so this was how to record your Android device with an Elgato. If this tutorial helped, please leave a like down below and if you have any more questions, just leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. This has been Tyler Putnam 2.0 and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace! Models, popping bottles.